On May 30th, 2005, the world was introduced to the iconic Gordon Ramsay as 12 chefs from all walks of life battled it out in challenges and dinner services, with the best performing contestant earning a head chef position at one of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants, the ultimate dream for any aspiring chef. And over the 20 seasons of Hell's Kitchen, there have certainly been a plethora of iconic moments to come from this legendary show. What's going on guys, I'm Flint Masters, and today, in preparation for season 21 and the general celebration for 20 seasons of Hell's Kitchen, we'll be looking at the top 20 most iconic iconic moments in the show's history, from the worst services, iconic fights, and of course, the legendary moments from Gordon Ramsay. These moments have stood the test of time for Hell's Kitchen fans everywhere. Before we begin, if you love Hell's Kitchen, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, as with season 21 being just around the corner, there's no better time than now to join the awesome community of HK fans on this channel. With all that said, strap yourselves in, and let's relive the greatest and most iconic moments in Hell's Kitchen history. Bloody hell, here I go again. I figured that it would be fitting that we start off with the first true holy crap moment in the show's history, which came during the third episode of the series, and it showed right away to the audience and future chefs that Gordon Ramsay will eat you alive if you have any type of thin skin. After underperforming in the first three services and getting an earful from Ramsay, Jeff had enough and threw in the towel, becoming the very first chef to quit the show. And this would be a foreshadowing of just how crazy chefs can get when their stress is at a max, and why the show was indeed called Hell's Kitchen. You know, cook either. Good. You're an asshole. What was that? What did you just say? What did you say? Okay. You don't like me. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. You're an asshole. Oh my God, enough. Go, please. The red team. Very quickly. Two seconds. Jeff will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. He cracked because somebody was yelling at him. I'm not about to walk off because somebody yelled at me too much. As I said, Hell's Kitchen is an extremely stressful environment, and sometimes, the stress of it all can cause the chefs to go after one another. Yeah, you wouldn't exactly think of pro chefs as the type of people to get potentially physical, but Hell's Kitchen has provided us with some seriously iconic fights throughout the years, but in my opinion, the craziest fights came from the red team of Season 10. I mean, they're called Hell's Bitches for a reason. From their insane hatred of Barbie, to Robin and Kimmy's iconic battle, while it was hard to watch at times, you can't deny just how iconic the fights from this season truly are. What are you doing? Really? I just washed the dishes. I, I came out here with you going like this. No, no, no I'm not about to get choked out. I'm you not want to get about to get choked out. out. You don't and worked harder than anybody. This was how many times did you go up this stairs? How many? Oh, that's right, none. You ain't never died a day in your life, and your ass shows it. Oh, 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 I want to hit you so bad, you nasty bitch. Your ears need to be cleaned out, bitch. Watch who you hey, call hey, bitch. Hey, get in my face. I no. hit me. Robin, get the out of my face, you bitch. In my opinion, the most iconic and entertaining service in the show's history is the opening night dinner service of season 11. This service took up the entire episode, and for good reason. Not only would this be a foreshadowing of things to come for the blue team, as nearly their entire team was kicked out, but four of the red team members were also kicked out, making that 12 total ejections from the kitchen the largest amount in Hell's Kitchen history. We also got arguably the most dominant individual service from Zack here, and to top it all off, Zacky Wacky. I mean, what more could you ask for from a Hell's Kitchen service? Zacky, we got uh, Talk to me. a bit one Brazino. Zacky Wacky. Zacky Wacky. Sorry, so I apologize about that, Chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Get out. Yes, Chef. F off, will you? Do you need the one for the redo and the two chicken and two Wellington? Or do you just need the two chicken and two Wellington? Get out. What are you doing? I had to get my water shut. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Another person gets kicked out, that's like another blow to me. I literally feel my body shutting down. Oh, God. I'm literally telling myself, if you think that, you know, you're going to pass out, guess what? Think again. Bye, Zach. All right. Yeah. Two bass, Chef. Two bass. Go, please. Woo! Let's do it! During the first four seasons of Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay slowly began to break his original set of rules. In season two, he made both teams losers instead of just one. In season three, he didn't give Melissa a chance to plead her case. And in season four, he went away from Corey's nominations to eliminate Sharon. But it wasn't until season five that truly showed you never know what to expect from Chef Ramsay, as he eliminated a chef from the winning team in an absolute shocker. I feel personally has given up. Carol. 
jacket off, and you're leaving Hell's Kitchen. You two back in line. You didn't even make a comeback. You gave up. Thank you. Good night. It's time we talk about the first of many iconic moments to come from season six, with the first one being Tenille's epic confrontation with Chef Ramsay. Because you're crap! You're crap! Hey, madam, madam, get out. Yes, no problem, yeah. Chef. Get out. Oh, I'm out. Oh, no. I busted my ass you're for not, you. You're lying. You don't know You're lying. I busted my ass. Get off no, my back. back. Get off your get back. Get off my back. Does that mean you my don't job? Don't you dare turn around and tell me that I'm crap. You know I'm you lying. Off through those doors. That's you right. You can dish it, but you can't that, take it. Dude. You're not learning. You're I learning am. your fat mouth. I am. You know that I'm trying to get in Shut the head. up. Are you going to keep it shut? Shut. Hey, madam. Yes, sir. Come here. I want an answer. I'm on my way back into the kitchen, Good. chef. Let's go. Confrontations with Ramsay are, of course, always epic, but I think what makes this one so great is that Tennille really did stand her ground here and it would be the turnaround she needed to make it all the way to the final four. It really just goes to show that Ramsay truly does care about his contestants and knows how to bring out the best in them. The greatest comeback. You never forget that. No way. Head up high. Always, chef. One of the reasons why Hell's Kitchen is still going strong 21 seasons later is due to the meme-worthy moments that still live on in 2022, with arguably the most iconic meme coming from the first black jacket service of season two. If you saute scallops in a nonstick pan, they won't stick. That's why it's called nonstick. I don't know what nonstick means in Texas, sweetheart, but me. Yes, chef. Good lord, it's amazing that a man losing his voice due to the stupidity of chefs can still live on over 15 years later. The signature dish challenge is the first opportunity for chefs to show Gordon Ramsay their potential, and it usually always comes within the first 15 minutes of the season. Man, talk about starting the season off with a bang. This challenge has been filled with so many iconic moments throughout the years, due to Ramsay absolutely ripping in the chefs, literally within minutes of meeting them for the first time. These dishes have made Ramsay disgusted, physically ill, and he's even questioned the chef's will to be there due to their horrendous effort shown. I know I'm somewhat cheating here by not picking out one specific dish, but this challenge in general is so iconic that I simply can't choose only one moment. Oh my God. Right now, I'd rather eat poodle than put that in my mouth. Tortellini, what's inside the filling? It's just a cheese. It's a packaged tortellini, fresh tortellini. Please tell me you use fresh tomatoes. Uh, they were canned tomatoes. Come on, that was a joke. That's f bro. Come here, you. What did you just say? Ooh. You got anything to say to me? Say it to my face, not my back. You got to shut off. Yeah. I call it exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops with caviar and white chocolate and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me just get this right again. Diver scallops chopped up, caviar and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. <laughs> must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? You knew season six was gonna be a good season after the insanity of the first service. In one night, not only did we get yet another legendary voice crack and meme from Ramsay, but we also had the first ever opening night ejection in Hell's Kitchen history, all culminating in Robert getting a second chance after he was forced to be pulled from the competition at the final five the previous season. Truly a full circle episode. Oh my God. Why'd you throw that away, Melinda? Look at all this <laughs> Who's putting all this in the bin? How many portions are you putting in there? Look! Look! What the f is this? Look at this! Look! 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 What the f is this? Get out! Upstairs, 
upstairs, get your bags packed. Can I help? Can I help in yeah, the kitchen? Yeah, you can help me. Get out! I would love you to seriously consider coming back into Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> I would love to take that off. <laughs> Good to see you, Robert, yes? Baby, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? And I plan on winning Hell's Kitchen. There's no question that Elise is one of the most notable chefs to ever enter Hell's Kitchen, but it's obviously not for the best of reasons. I'm extremely excited that I'm safe and I'm ready to go f rub it in Michelle's face. I'm not being nice anymore. Woo! It's on. Oh. oh you opened a can of worms. It's on now, baby. However, due to this behavior, producers knew she would be ratings gold and kept her around far too long, with her surviving over Jennifer still being one of the most unfair eliminations in the show's history. And after Elise had a great Final Four pass performance, it seemed all but a lock she would make it to the Final Two, and the scary possibility of Elise winning Hell's Kitchen might actually become a reality. There's one of you that I feel can command the kitchen better than the other and won't back down no matter what. The person joining Will is Paul. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Thank you. Simply the most satisfying moment in the history of Hell's Kitchen. Let's finish off part one with an all-time classic moment from Old School Hell's Kitchen. In the first two seasons, eliminations occur naturally, as after a service, Chef Ramsay would name one or both teams as losers, and they would be forced to nominate two people, with Ramsay deciding who would go home. But at the first Black Jacket service of season three, Josh had one of the worst services ever, and for the first time in Hell's Kitchen history, Chef Ramsay didn't even wait until the nomination ceremony, as he eliminated a chef during the middle of service. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here, you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, sir. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Take that off and get the hell out of here. Get out! Get out! Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Give me the jacket. You used to suck it. Get out! Get out! Thank you guys so much for watching part one of the top 20 most iconic moments in Hell's Kitchen history. If you like this video, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as every bit of support really helps the channel. Be on the lookout next week for part two and take some guesses in the comments at which moments will be in the top 10. With all that said, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.